If you live in the capital region, you may know the name Solomon Northup. Soon, though, the name will be known all over the world. Hollywood has churned out its version of the amazing story that all started in Saratoga Springs. Today, I got a crash course in Northup history from what turned out to be another local connection to the film. I want to live. 12 Years a Slave is already receiving rave reviews. The movie, produced by Brad Pitt's production company, follows the life of Solomon Northup, a black man born free who was living in Saratoga Springs and who was stolen away by two white men and then sold as a slave in the South. It was 12 years before he was freed. This marker still stands in the spa city, marking the approximate area where the story began. In real life, he his family had relocated to Glens Falls by the time he was freed. David Fisk of Boston Spa has been fascinated with Solomon Northup for years. He wrote his first book on Northup in 2011 and his second just recently. Because of that, he was invited to New York City to pre-screen the film in June. They were interested in, in, in what I thought just because I had a lot of uh, uh, knowledge of Solomon Northup. Fisk gives the film a thumbs up and was even interviewed by a film crew for a historical segment to be included as a bonus item on the DVD. He says there's more to Northup than is told in the movie, like what happened in the years after he returned home. Speaking of which, Fisk is also hoping the sudden Northup notoriety will help solve a long-standing mystery. We don't know when, where, or the circumstances of his death. We know by the 1870s, the mid-1870s, that documents start describing his wife as a widow instead of being his wife. I'm hoping that as the book comes out and even as the movie comes out, that somebody out there will come across some records that shows where he was buried at least. Fisk shared something else interesting with me. He told me that the Saratoga Spring scenes, as far as he has been told, were filmed in Louisiana. So we didn't get a local uh, crew here. However, we do talk about Saratoga Springs in the film. 12 Years a Slave opens locally next Friday.